Hello, my name is Cindy Caravello and I'm from OTS Training. In this video, I'm going to be talking to you about the new TU Timesheet Reporting System. This video will focus on how regular non-exempt, contingent 1 non-exempt, contingent 2 non-exempt, and students record time and leave using this new system. Let's begin by logging into the system. Type mytu.towson.edu in the address bar of your preferred browser and press Enter. We're using Chrome in this video. Please note, you cannot use Internet Explorer. From the top right corner of the page, click Sign In, then enter your NetID and password and click Login. You may have to authenticate through Duo. From the MyTU page, click on the Timesheets tile. If you hold more than one position at TU, you would need to select the position you're entering time for. You will be brought to the Timesheet tab, which will display information such as your name, employee ID, internal job title, department, and manager. Under Pay Period, the current pay period begin date will be shown. You can also view previous and future pay periods by clicking the Previous and Next buttons. To enter time for a specific reporting code, click the yellow plus sign under the date you wish to add time for. The Time Entry box will appear. The drop-down arrow under Time Reporting Code will allow you to choose the appropriate code from the list. If you are unsure which leave code to choose, click the Look Up Leave Code link to get more information about different leave codes. Enter the start and end date for the selected code. You may enter for one or multiple days by adjusting the end date. Next, click the clock icon. From the dial diagram, enter the start and end time by selecting the hour and minutes, then choose AM or PM. Click Done. Click Save when you have completed the time entry. You can account for breaks like lunch break by creating two time entries. Enter a start and end time before the break and a start and end time after the break. Be sure to click Save from each entry and the break will automatically appear in your timesheet. Once you are done, you will need to submit your timesheet for approval. Before submitting, be sure to have accounted for the time worked for the current pay period. Review the timesheet total at the top of the screen. Click Submit when you're done. A dialog box asking you to confirm your timesheet submission will appear. Click OK. A green box should appear briefly at the top of your screen, confirming you have successfully submitted your timesheet. A yellow status indicator that reads Needs Approval will appear in the upper right corner of each time block. After the timesheet has been approved, the indicator turns to a green Approved status indicator. You can now check your leave balance for each time reporting code. Click Leave Balance at the top of the page. Each leave code that you have used throughout your tenure with TU will appear here in a tile. The number of hours accrued, as well as leave used year-to-date in hours and days, will be displayed on each tile. For an in-depth report, click View Accrual History. You may also enter leave from any Leave Balance tile by clicking the Enter Leave button. The time entry box will appear with the time reporting code for the selected leave tile prefilled. Select the start and end date and the quantity of hours for each day, then click Save. You will be returned to the Timesheets tab and the newly entered time will be visible under the appropriate date. Once you have completed your timesheet, click Sign Out in the upper right corner. Thanks for watching. For more information or questions, please visit us at towson.edu forward slash OTS training.